What's going on you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today, we are going to be reviewing another one of my old Godzilla figures, Trend Masters by Alante. Uh, just to get straight on to it with Detail and Paint Job. Uh, detail and Paint Job is, uh, you know, fair. I mean, it's Trend Masters. They weren't accurate to their Godzilla figures, but they were as accurate as they could get. And uh, by Alante is actually very well done. Uh, she has a very nice green with, with some blues added in, like along the back side. I don't know if those are showing up on camera very well, but she does have some blues shaded in. Uh, her tusks are a very nice bone white, as, as well as her teeth. Inside of her mouth is pink. Her eyes are actually the same pinkish color. And, uh, of course, the orange here for her chest core. And uh, the one thing about this Bialante, uh, Trendmaster's Bialante here is that she has... Uh, legs and very weird shaped feet as you can see they almost look like something out of Pacific Rim actually <laughs> but um I, I mean she has legs so uh, that, that and they're very muscular and thick looking uh, she does have the tail that kind of fans out that actually looks kind of like Hedra's tail which is interesting and she has all the spines and stuff in the roof of her mouth and all that goodness uh, all her vines and, you know, Venus flytrap heads are very nicely uh, detailed for what they are. You can see kind of like veins running along the stems and, the, you know, the vine part of them. You know, they even have tongues. Each one has tongues and no eyes or anything, but they do all have the teeth and all that stuff. So, uh, and, uh, you know, just not too much. I mean, she has like little thorns here where the vines connect. Um... And uh, that's about it for, you know, detail. I mean, her main face is very nicely done. It's not too bad. It's actually accurate as can be for a Trendmasters figure. And uh, that about does it for detail and paint job. Um, as far as articulation goes, of course, her head, uh, her head will spin 360. It'll also uh, bob up and down. And then, let's see, of course, her legs, they really won't turn a full 360, but... It can go forward and back as if she was walking. Her tail does have a joint, but it doesn't really turn that much. And then, of course, the vines can turn as much as they can. Of course, as you can see, they're all bunched into the one area. So they can only get so much of a range of movement, but not much. So articulation is okay. It ain't great. And then, uh, as far as sizing goes... Here she is sized with the Trendmasters Godzilla. And I must say, this is accurate as all you can get. I mean, Godzilla is just the right size. Biolante oversizes him by a long shot. And uh, surely enough, this is sizing perfectly. So anything, if you have a trend, anything Trendmasters, it'll more or less size up. But, um, anyways, we'll continue on. And here's just sizing up with Bandai. There you go. Does not work one bit at all unless Biolante has a smaller final form stage of some sort. But, uh, sizing up with Bandai does not work at all. So, uh, no good there. Pretty much only Trendmasters figures will size up with her. And, uh, that pretty much about does it for this review. And um, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. This is Trendmasters Biolante. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.